Hey folks, how's it going? So I did a thing. Um, and multiple, 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 22s. Uh, but I didn't own a Ruger, and I see them on sale this week. Or I should say past week. Um, so I picked this one up, Sportsman's. They uh, they were running some some uh, holiday deals. So, end of story, I had a coupon, I used it. And with that discount, um, I picked this up for 190 ish But um, I only really wanted the, <clears throat> the action. Because synthetic stocks, they're just not... Uh, they're not my deal. So, anyways, so make a long story short, Monday morning I went on to um, Stocky Stocks and ordered their uh, Euro Target, Euro Target stock. Uh, this is in coffee. So, I ordered it uh, Monday. It, um, it shipped Monday actually, and I, I uh, received it yesterday, which was Friday. Uh, they shipped to UPS. It was packaged really nice. The finish of the stock. Th this is no review, by the way. Um, <clears throat> this is just my personal opinion. The the finish on the stock is great. Um, it is so buttery smooth. Um, they do got some stippling on the grip um, and the forehead, which is um, actually really nice. It uh, adds some great texture to it. But enough about that. I did um, test fit the action into the stock. Um, I cleaned up a little bit right here with a um, just a sharp chisel. It was just finished that had leaked through the hole and dried on, on the inside, so it had a little bump there. Like I said, it was very minor, so I just took that off with a chisel. But anyway, um, let's get this out of the way here. Like I said, <clears throat> synthetic stocks, they're really not, um, they're just not my type one. So, let's get rid of this. By the way, anybody needing a uh, gray synthetic Ruger 1022 stock, hit me up, because, yeah, it's for sale. Or, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So, here we go, I'll take that out of there. And again, here's the stock. The only thing that um, um, I can say about these stocks... The only downside, I guess, is no sling studs. So, here we go. I marked this out in tape. I found the center between here and here. That's inch and five eighths. 13 16 is the center. I came back inch and a half um, because I plan on putting a, a bipod on this. So, more or less, we are going to drill some holes. Um, <clears throat> let me uh, finish marking this out real quick. At uh, 13 16 And that is our center. Just double checking myself here. Yeah, that's exactly center. All right, I'm um, I did order some sling sling studs from uh, Amazon, <clears throat> came in a pack. So I was looking them over and I was comparing them to Uncle Mike's. Uncle Mike's is not shiny for one; it's just a blue finish. But the the stud itself is thicker. And it seems, um, well, it just seems better quality, more or less. So I'm not going to use these. I'm going to wrap them out of a couple packs I have. Um, and usually the long stud you would use in the rear of the stock. Um, since this stock has is, is got a bunch of meat up front, um, I'm going to go ahead and use the, the rears, more or less, for the front and the rear. So, yeah. Um, let me pause this. I'm going to drill this hole. And more or less, just took a drill bit. Married it up to the stud without the washer on it. Um, put a piece of tape on there so I knew what depth I needed to go to. And that's that. Um, Uncle Mike's comes with instructions. They use a, um, what, a 5 30 second bit for this particular stud. These Amazon ones, <clears throat> like I said, they're a little thinner. And I think the drill that I matched up to them was like a 964th. Um, like I said, I'm going to go with the Uncle Mike's. They just seem nicer. So give me a second and we will um, we'll get on that. Oh, by the way, this is a bipod. Um, nothing special. It's an Amazon bipod, but it's plenty enough for the 1022. But <clears throat> if you are going to do this, a lot of people say inch back on the front. Well, if you did an inch back on the front, your bipod would technically be hanging off the front. I didn't want that look. So I slid her back um, past this bevel or this, this rounded portion of the stock. So from there back, I went inch and a half. And that will put me dead center and it would be setting somewhere there, which looks good because it's set back from the curve of the stock. And yeah, look good. All right, be back. All right, so here we go. I'm turning back now. Do as far as possible. There we go. And there we go. All right. Should be as simple as that is. Move the tape. Nice one.
Right. Very slow, slow, slow here. Hold on, we'll grab some salt. Okay. All right, let's start a soap. Let's grab the uh, nearest candle. I'm going to start that by hand. And I'm just going to use a uh, appropriate size drill bit here. Get it nice and straight. So just take your time. We're getting down to the last little bit. Oh, we got one more on it. Let's see. I don't know if I can get another one on it. Probably not. So there she is. All right, one down. I'll mark out the rear, and we'll do the same thing. All right. I'm going to my fingers. Let's get this tape out of the way. Nice hole. Start that in. I'm going to soap off my fingers. Try to square that off as best as we can here. If it binds up on you, um, just pack it out. Almost touch down here. There we go. We'll touch down, see you on the washer, and we are done. There you go. They are installed. All right, I'll put this um, action in the stock. Um, by the way, these stocks come with a special screw and a brass washer. Um, they're included with the stock, so no big deal. I'm going to set this action in here, and we'll be back. All right, so here we're back. Got the scope mounted, monster mounts, of course, the bipod. On the sling studs, I uh, got the other sling stud here, and we took the ugly duckling and made it into something really pretty. I think this is um pretty beautiful for a 1022. All right, look at this. Look at that fit and finish right there. Look at that around the mag. It's perfect. You couldn't ask for better. Around the barrel, around the action itself. Perfect. Beautiful. I'm very happy. All right. That's all, folks.